In this video we're going to take a look at data analysis and applications for DTA. So we have a sample and reference temperature being monitored versus the furnace temperature, that's the heating block, and then we plot the sample temperature and the reference temperature versus the furnace temperature. So there's the sample and there is the reference. So they've both got a profile. The reference is inert so it doesn't really do anything but we do get disturbances uh, in the sample which indicate thermal events. So here we have an exothermic process. As the sample gives out heat the temperature gets a bit further ahead uh, than the furnace temperature because of that extra heat that's been given out and here we have an endothermic process and the temperature of the sample then lags behind a little bit for this because heat is being taken in. Now it's better to display a temperature difference versus furnace temperature and I'll show you this on the next slide. So here we have the thermogram the temperature versus temperature plot and what we're going to do now is plot the difference in temperature. So it's the difference between the reference and the sample versus the furnace temperature. And we can see the endothermic process here and that gives us a peak that's pointing down. And we have the baseline which is just flat and then we have the exothermic process which has a peak that's pointing up. And it's important that uh, on the scale somewhere we have something that tells us which direction is exothermic and which one is endothermic. So in terms of applications then, we can look at polymers, characterise uh, physical changes in, in polymeric materials. Phase diagrams, we can examine changes in the position of a thermal event under different conditions. So we might be interested in changing the composition of our material or the pressure under which we're monitoring the thermal event. There are also high temperature processes that we can monitor uh, in the analysis of ceramics, metals, alloys. And here we have uh, an image of a thermogram for um, a polymeric material and this will be explained a little bit further in a later video. So I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.